Oh yes, weekend yard work. Woohoo! Mold the hay. I just need to go back with a baler and pick up the mounds of grass. <clears throat> Clean the shop up a little bit. Move the car over. Took it out with the dollies. And I decided I was gonna have a beer. Which I got a couple to pick from. <coughs> One of my favorites. And got the tractor, you know, and dicking around the garage here a little bit and decided to check see what's going on with my phone. See if I missed anything when I was on the tractor for like an hour or so. And look at what we have here. Let's see if I can do this, I'll drop my phone. Trolling, 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 trolling. Me, time traveler. Um, I guess he is the uh, expert, know it all mechanic on YouTube. Very popular guy. He's got like 10 videos up. I mean, there's probably maybe all 10 videos, 100 hits on him, zero subscribers, and decides that he wants to argue with me about that Delco filter that I put in that car before I went, I drove 1,300 miles with it. And one of the things he makes, oh, you swear, blah, blah. Yes, I do. The night that I changed oil in that car, the very next morning, I was hopping in it and driving 1,300 miles. Well, 12, 1,300, whatever. Yes, I was pissed. It's like 11 o'clock at night, and I got a car that's down. It's dead in the water. That I'm supposed to drive. <laughs> so yeah, it was quite disappointing when I went and put a Delco filter on it. And I've been leery about that filter, those Delco filters for a while because they did a design change. I wish I still had. Filter laying around here, but it's been thrown out. So no dice. But anyways, he, oh, it's a fake video, and it's fraud, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, I know. It's a fake video. I mean, it was very hugely successful, you know, 1,700 hits on it. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> There's plenty of other people out there putting fake videos up about bullshit. I'm not one of them, okay? I put it up because I have never seen that happen in my life. I've, over the years, I've done thousands. Thousands of oil changes. I've never seen a filth do that. So, yeah. I made a video about it. And, you know, one of your PMs to me is that I'm a brand basher and blah, 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 blah. I just sunk 400 bucks into my that purple car. I'd have to do a radiator or a bunch of other shit. Heater core, it's still sitting here. Radiator. Oh, look, you here. AC Delco. That's the train cooler line I replaced. Oh, look. AC Delco. My rear cap I replaced. AC Delco air filter that I replaced on my car. And yet, I'm a brand basher. I'm a scam. What do we got here? Oh yeah. My thermostat that I still haven't replaced in it yet. There's my cert belt. And oh, whoa, 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 back the fuck up. Oops, I'm sorry, I swore. I'll bleep it out for you. Um, yeah. Bought another one, but here's the difference. PF47, not 47E. And I'll insert a picture of the difference in the oil filters. I'll turn the light on, see if I can get that light to shine down in there. See? I'll put a picture on here. Look at the much look at the top changes on it. These are this is the original style. They've been making them like this for 40 freaking years. Oh look at that. Metal insert. Oh 
metal cap on the bottom. An anti-drain back valve that's cut short enough where it's not sealed in the crimp. Which would make it not pass oil. Hello. Yeah. If you can find the regular PF47s, if this is what your car takes, guys, go for it. Stay away from the E's. Because they're all plastic and junk. Had a buddy of mine look at that oil filter and he was playing with it and his mouth has been all sorts of different places, so it didn't really matter. He put his mouth in the filter element. You could barely blow through it. Um, it's almost like the, uh, oops, turn the light off. It's almost like the glue they used on them got on the filtering element. And then when you take the, uh, you take the uh, anti-drain back valve and you held it up to it, the filter, and when you put pressure on it, like there should be, like, you know, normally be an oil filter, it goes all the way up to the edges. There's no place for it to, you know, release to let oil go through it. Whatever. There, I give you your uh, two seconds of fame on YouTube. Me, time traveler. Keep up with those videos. Keep trolling. Notice that on a lot of comments, you're always, everyone's an idiot and, or scam artist or whatever. Have fun, bud. You've been called out. I'll catch you guys later.